Answer me this, Frazier. How many albums were you able to put out Three. when you was over there? Three. And then also watching them. One thing that I always noticed about 3-6, they had their major deals, and then they had their underground albums that they yeah. put out independently. During that time, did you think, were you in any contractual obligations that wouldn't have let you put out anything outside of the uh, label, or was it a situation to where when everything... But during the time while you were there, like during that three year hiatus between, it's hard out here for a pepper. I really couldn't do nothing when I was with them for as uh, you know, you strictly hit me once you sign with them, you strictly it's the only features you gonna be able to do some stuff on their work. Okay. You can't do nothing outside of it really wasn't too much of going outside of hypnotized to do anything else unless it's probably a uh, big, big, big artist that wants you, which was probably not going to happen. But, you know, yeah, you strictly had to be hypnotized, and it was dead. And they were standing on it. My God. Yeah. Was there any love, though? Where was it, the love? I ain't going to say it wasn't no love. It was, we, that was some of the best. It's crazy because, yeah, it hurt me at the end, but during that era, man, mm -hmm. that was some of the best times of my life, bro. Can you take me there, Frazier? I want to know about I mean, what it was like. Just the shows and the tours, man. It used to be, man, just crazy, crazy. And then I used to, when you seeing people that love you the way they love you from your music, man, that shit used to, I used to like to hear people tell me, like, man, bro, I love your work. Yeah. I love your work. That, that, that type of shit meant everything to me when I was unsure about my work. Mm. I'm gonna say that. Yeah. When I used to hear that, man, I was just, just going on the road, meeting different genres and people that love my work and what we doing, man. That shit was crazy. That meant something to me. A lot of people reasons probably were different up front, but that was I used to like to hear that shit. Hell yeah. Fred, did a TV show. The, 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 you know, they had, they had the reality show. Were you ever invited on the reality <laughs> show, bruh? Because your pitch. song really got, if, if we, if we keep it real, your song got them that show. Of course, man, but Man, I wasn't, I was the distant loner. I was at the picture. The Oscars from that day forward, I was at the picture. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, I was really out the picture. Is it, we you ain't answering no your more. calls out the picture? I, I didn't even make no more calls. Cause well, I well, 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 wasn't you, you saw a phrase in there now, as you reflect though, um, I know you know. I don't. I don't know. But did you kind of, you know, go in the shell too? Say, you know, I feel like a nigga played me. Fuck that shit. I ain't but I still, talking to nobody. I, while I was with them, I still kept it cordial. Yeah. But I didn't have to do that. But once or twice because they were so distant that I didn't even really hear from them until they Paul called me and was like, "Well, we we gonna go and release you after you done hear me three, four years after the what? fact. What? The fact that I've win. We. Win an Academy Award, you hear me down and let me die down or whatever you call yourself doing. And shit, now you want to release me. Which was cool, but you should have did that then. Right then, so while I'm going to catch my hype. Right. That's let me know it was intentional. My God, boy. Take me to those three to four years while the hype and the buzz was going to hell. Man, listen. When you win an Academy Award, that's supposed to change your life for the better. Uh, listen, you supposed to go up. When I won my Oscar, I'm proud of the only nigga in the world where my life went to shambles. I lost, a, I lost everything. It was that distant where I was fucked up, like I was fucked up. Lost cars, houses, everything, man. And they sit, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker really let that shit happen. And, and I ain't saying to give me nothing. Yeah. Just straight me up on what oh, the fuck I earned. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm asking. Don't, don't, man, come on, bro. How you can watch me go through this shit and you know the truth, you know what's up? My heart, and I still got love in my heart for him. You know what I'm saying? I still do. Ain't no love for me, though. Were you ever able to talk to him again? Have y'all ever even got any clarity in the situation since then? Man, so when you do, when you do people wrong, you avoid people. Right. And I think that's 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 the answer to this. Right. You know what I'm saying? They they just avoided me. And they know they did me wrong. I I I'm looking at this motherfucker. They know they did me wrong. They ain't gonna they, you know well, what I'm saying? they ain't gonna see after no, this. I know I know <laughs> I ain't no fakeness in me and I'm a man about everything and I know that I did everything I was supposed to do and more. What would this phrase your boy go back and tell that phrase your boy to do different, man? 
open my eyes quicker and uh, listen to everything and just be, everything that glitter ain't gold and shit happens. You know what I'm saying? More than you think. Yeah. That you know what I'm saying? Uh, just just pay attention to what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? But I still want to change for the world with what I've been through because that made me into who I am. That was to, for my next step. I had to realize that later. Yeah. Like, I still got my hardware, but it was for me to separate from them and grow. Yeah. And flourish without them. That's what it was for. Mm-hmm. It might was for them at the moment, mm-hmm. but it was for me later. And that's why things happened the way it did. That's how I took it. That's what God spoke to me and said. So when you dropped that last album, man, what was that like? I knew it was, I just knew it was over. It wasn't no more. It just, it wasn't genuine no more. Yeah. No, when shit ain't genuine, I just ain't, I ain't in it. You know what I'm saying? Your heart wasn't in it. And I, I just saw, it was obvious of what it was at that point. So, yeah. you know, when I got that last album and they forced me to do it in three days, I ain't see them but one time. And that, and that notion when I, when they brought me to LA to, to uh, uh, record the key, I didn't see them no more still. I still haven't seen them for as personally. I maybe ran into Juice at the airport and it was love, but it wasn't no, you know what I'm saying, it really wasn't no, I ain't even seen Paul, but but other than, you know what I'm saying, we had a little situation, which was nothing, but it really was nothing. I'm gonna say it wasn't nothing because ain't nothing pop off. It was yeah. just a bunch of nothing. Did the money ever flow, Frazier? Man, not for me, not for me. Like, like, I would like be how I was, like, after this shit, bro, it, I was fucked up after the Oscars, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you win the Oscars, you think your life, that's it, you you made it. Yeah. Yeah, I made it all right. Made it harder. Made it hard out here for a bit. Made it harder, man. Like, that shit was crazy. That, that it was just winning the 360 like that and the shit. And it was because a motherfucker just could have said I ain't saying take care of me. I'm going to say that one more time. I ain't saying take care of me. Just take care of me. <laughs> I'm going to say that. Take yeah. care of me of what I've done, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm That's all I'm saying. I, I don't want no more than this. Yeah. Yeah, damn. I got to beg you to get something that's mine? Right. Shit. I sure hate if I, if I beg for something that wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hate this shit. So, yeah, man, it was, it was a, that was a hard time for me, man, it, which – was supposed to be the best time for me. I'm gonna say that, but it was the other way around. Then I had to hold that shit in because I was getting filmed <laughs> and I was publicly in front of, you know what I'm saying, big people. So you know, it was like I say, I was surrounded by everybody, but I was lonely as a man out there in the sea, floating in the water. Did you ever talk to like different artists, like you know? But did you? Ever, I want to know did you ever talk to Terrence Howard? You yeah, know? Yeah, I have. T- <laughs> I helped Terry Howard, you know, how to learn how to talk Memphis. He did the best he could. A lot of people like he took <laughs> But you gotta realize Terry Howard from Cleveland, man. Yeah, like yeah. he's an actor. Like he's not gonna in just talk all the way like us, but he was trying. He right. was saying man, but he was putting a little flang on it. Man, man, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I talk. Now nah, you saying after the Oscars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like after you. No, no, no. They, they, they probably to this day don't really know what you know. what I'm saying for us, this situation, they know all. They probably know it's three six. Cause a lot of people used to think everybody was three six mafia. Right. Yeah. You right. No, you got to realize too. We were solo art- artists on the label. Like Project Pat is not three six mafia. Chance mm. is not three six mafia. Fraser Boy, Lil White is not three six mafia. But that's how people used to take it. So. It really was a clever way to, to cover up something if you wanted to cover it up. So, Three Six Mafia won the Oscar. So yeah. it, was, it really was kind of clever. But wow! But to the person you love, you supposed to single them out because you know what that person did and you know why you here too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just being real, you know why you here. How do you mentally keep it together during those times, man? Praise. What was it that kept you strong, Frazier? God, yeah, God. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, like when you lose everything that you. You gain and you win something that's your biggest accolade ever, your biggest recognition ever, and you still don't make it. That's some cra- That's a crazy feeling. Like, damn, do I supposed to be here? It start. It start playing tricks on your mind. But when you when you, when you stay strong with God, man, he 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 get you through all that. And that's what. That's how I just started to realize. Like, maybe this for me later. It's something later. And it really and it really that's how I'm feeling now. It's really better. 
Mm, because I can talk for me. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I ain't got to go through nobody to speak for me. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I can talk for me, so I, I, I like that feeling. Yeah. I know what I'm hearing, and I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? When you look at your life, though, and life experiences, can you give me three times while you was on that label that you was having a damn good time and enjoying yourself? Hmm. Pretty much every night you go to the studio, I mean, like, just the scene was just, you would see Juice over there maybe playing the video game. You walk over here, Paul over there on the phone talking to a bitch. <laughs> crunching, crunching them up there, rolling the blunts. And see Lord, just, just see Lord over there on some more shit. And just, just, it, was, it was some good times, bro. Yeah. It was some real good times. And it just was like, they didn't think about none of this shit, man. And then you got the people that really would die for you. Like, honestly, like, like we will go to all out war. For them niggas because it, them niggas really they changed our life. Yeah. Like, but you could have made sure niggas was life would change forever out of appreciation that damn bro. We y'all then they know where I come from. Nigga, you know where I come from. You know I wasn't doing this shit. Nigga, I got y'all a fucking Academy Award. What would you do? Wow. Would you turn your back on that person? No. I, I would have dropped that if I was them, I would have dropped the album that next day. Man. That's all I'm saying. That next day, you couldn't. Even, I, we flew you right to the studio. You, Mind <laughs> up. you ain't got to make it go home and get a pair of drawers, nigga. We will bring you something, nigga. We were locked in the studio. I been like, bro, get your ass. We finna go to the studio now, <laughs> right? You know right. what I'm saying? But when I start saying it, it just they saw how they saw the change in my emotion. Mm. I'm looking at it. I look up like you know they saw it. They they knew that I knew. Yeah, like, man, y'all y'all it ain't straight, and they just let it ride. You let it ride, so you let it ride, so that man, you don't give a fuck about me. And I give everything about you, though. You know what I'm saying? You know this. Never crossed you, never gave you any kind of reason to think nothing. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go through you before I do anything. Even if I feel it's wrong, I'm still gonna let you know, hey, uh, da 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 da. I'm gonna make sure you know what's going on. Never cross you, mm. but you cross me to the fullest. Mm. 